own um, the light in me bows to the light in you. I have a message from Sri Krishna and from the Bhagavad Gita. And he says, all of you who has entered this unhappy and impermanent world, adore only me. In other words, adore only spirit. The reason I bring this up is because it's so easy to forget the cycles of life. When you were a little baby, you were so helpless. When, if you live to be an elder, you will be helpless again towards the end. The holy teachings teach us to be helpless in the middle of our life. Now, what does that mean? It means that we totally depend on source. A great practice for the yogi is to ask for assistance before doing something and then saying thank you after it is achieved without expectations on the results of it. You know, there's a beautiful thing in the Bhagavad Gita teachings and that is there's three yogas. One yoga is the yoga called Gyan Yoga, which is the yoga of remembering that source is our only reality. This is a planet of assisted living and we need to draw on that assistance from the universe. Emerson said self-reliance is total dependence on God. So Gyan Yoga, remembering our connection to source. Karma Yoga, which is to do everything we do and offer that back to source. And finally is Bhakti Yoga, which is to do everything with pure heart with pure love, with not seeking any kind of something back, just a giving of pure love. So I have a song that I'd like to sing in closing up this little video. Why have you come to earth? Do you remember? Why have you taken birth? Do you remember? It's to love, to serve and remember, 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 to love, to serve and remember. Namaste.